Hey Zoomalings, this is Doc with AppSumo, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite apps from AppSumo in 2019. I'm going to be talking about my top five, how I use it in my business, and how you can be using it in your business to start crushing it in 2020. So let's get it. As we're about to go through these different apps, a lot of the ones that I talk about today are actually still in the store right now at AppSumo.com. So if this is something that aligns with your business, get them before they're gone. All right, so the first one I'm gonna be talking about is actually Q Promote. Now with this item, I was actually skeptical about it. I didn't know how well it was gonna work, but after using it on one of the blog posts that I was promoting, I actually got four signups for my course. So what I did was I made a, um, you know, I made a um, promotion and I put it out, I got, I think it was, let me take a look, yeah, 322 shares, and I got 71 uh, clicks, and then I got four sales to my course from there. Now, what I'm counting as sales, they were actually opt-ins to a free course, but that course now is leading them through my, um, my sales funnel to convert them later on. Now, I did this just on a whim. If you saw me in my other video that I was um, promoting or that I was reviewing Q Promote, uh, I really didn't know what, what I was going to expect, but I'm pretty happy with that with less than a week of letting it go for the promotion and really just testing it out. They have a lot of different options. They have a lot of different uh, features that you can go deeper to really make this effective for your content. I thought this was outsta outstanding. I know having a small team and running a marketing agency, I'm always looking for ways to optimize uh, our our content to really promote it to different audiences. Really impressed with QPromote. So I put them on the list. Um, the next one that I have is Jumble. Now, again, like I mentioned, I run a marketing agency, a boutique marketing agency. I'm always trying to figure out ways to talk to our team, all these things, and how I talk to other teams if we're being white labeled and stuff like that. So uh, I've had to use, uh, you know, ClickUp, Asana, Slack, uh, Project.co, Plutio, um, and the list goes on, Aura. I'm really liking Jumble for a couple different reasons. Now again, project management, tons of different ways to do it. It really depends on your style. But the reason I like this with our team is the app. And when you're using it with chat and then you can update all of your uh, projects really, really easy. I know that seems really simple, but that has always been a challenge because sometimes we're in Meister Task or we're in all these different things and we're switching different apps. And I'm trying to do ch chat over here. This one, it's a one window. I can update, I can talk to the team, all those things. Really, really like it. And I can talk one-on-one -on -one to different people on the team or just a group of us, if we're working on one project, we can be consolidated in that section as well uh, using that, uh, that app. So Jumble, really impressive. I think they have a really cool um, roadmap going on for 2020 after talking to their team. They're, they're hyper aware of where they need to um, improve, adding things like Kanban and other things. Really receptive, really cool team, really like it. Now, the next tool that um, I use, I use this one almost daily, Synovio. I use this with their Chrome extension, all of those things. Now, the one thing I'll tell you guys, it's not in the store right now, but they're having a, a really, really good sale, this discount that's going on uh, be, before their first of the year. So I would highly recommend getting it. The reason I like this is I like to separate my email outreach to cold traffic then having it in my CRM and doing things with my newsletter and doing sequences that way. I just like keeping that separate. So Synovio, I have all of this on cold outreach and when I'm trying to get prospects and then if they're converting and I'm having them in different uh, courses or different memberships, then I move it over to my other CRM. The other thing I like about this is their, their Google Chrome extension. Now that just allows you to see when people are opening you know, clicking on things, all those things. The reason I like that is sometimes I'm just experimenting really, really quickly to see what 
uh, headlines are working what are people clicking on what are people opening really quickly so sometimes instead of me trying to set up an a b test do all these things i'm just like i'm going to send out five emails see what people are doing what emails do people open what ones are they clicking on uh in the variance and then i put it into synovio or then i put it into another uh, crm to really you know uh to go into the rest of the testing for the group so i i i'm really really happy with synovio the other thing is too i like the the just the interface as you're building out your your drip campaigns really really cool um and easy to understand if you if you have used active campaign convert kit etc cetera, etc cetera, it's very similar i think almost all builders are like this uh, even if you're using many chat and stuff like that you'll understand the basics of what you're going to be doing as you build out your sequences in synovio the next one up is uh sendfox the reason I like SendFox so much is um, I've paid a lot of money for CRMs over the years, a lot of money. If you're just getting started out and you need to be building your list, no matter what stage you're, you are, you need to start building your sequences, building your list. SendFox, I really find a really easy way of, of doing that. Uh, with a client, I was building just videos of how to use SendFox and they basically said, it's, um, I mean, it wasn't in a mean way. I'll just tell you what they said. They just said it's a dummy version of uh, ConvertKit. And I don't think that's a, a mean way of saying it. I mean, ConvertKit to me was the easy way when everyone was using um, all these more advanced, um, you know, uh, platforms. ConvertKit was so much easier. I think SendFox with their... Uh, you know, onboarding where they're already making your sequence, they're already pulling in all of your best or, you know, your top three blog posts and it's already making the emails for you is dummy proofing a lot of things. And it's easy. Not only that, it's a really simple landing page um, design that they have that integrates with all of their sequences. I mean, I, I, I think it was really good. And one of the clients, because they, they weren't ready for us to take over uh, their CRMs and email marketing. I was like, just watch these videos, use SendFox. And I have tried to work with this client for years to use other CRMs. They didn't like it. They wouldn't use it. Uh, they set up all their accounts and their opening sequence with SendFox with under 20 minutes. I really think that's impressive. Not only that, um, I've been using SendFox even before they they went on that, uh, you know, went on AppSumo. And uh, what I liked about them when I'm talking to their team and I'm showing them, you know, why I'm using it, questions, could they change it? Really receptive and um, and great team. So again, uh, SendFox is is my um, is my suggestion if you're looking to lower your uh, your uh, operating expenses per month. You you need a CRM to get started. Yeah, SendFox is one, and it integrates. It has Zapier. It has all these integrations that allow you to um, make it more robust. The other one I want to talk about is uh, Relay That. Okay, so this this app, it's come back a couple times to the store. This is probably the most um, used app that I use for my clients or different things like that. So a lot of times I I have certain clients where I'm like, okay, we're not going to take over design. You need to have a graphic designer. But a lot of times some of our clients just don't, they're not ready to hire a graphic design. They just want a really good looking brand, a branding kit, their content to have, uh, you know, just the design carried out through all of their pieces of content. That's what Relay That does. I mean, it, it, it already composes so many different pieces for you and it works for your business. Um, I almost view it like a mixture of, um, Canva, it's missing some of the features that I like of Canva, but more importantly, this one allows someone to have a branding kit and have consistency throughout their business at a really affordable rate and allows them to be able to manage, manage it themselves. It's the learning curve is not very uh, large. So a lot of people, if you just put in a couple hours, it's going to work for you. And there's tons of other tutorials. There's different um, I think there was an AppSumo um, actual seminar or video presentation that they did a couple months ago. The power of it, 
really super helpful. Take a look at that. So I've gone through my, my top five that I like in 2019. I'm going to talk about how I use it in my business and then ideas how you could be using it uh, for what, uh, for you as well, for your business. So again, Q promote. The reason I use it in my business to promote uh, certain uh, features or project announcements to other audiences, uh, it allows you to really streamline your process. And if you're working on a limited budget or you're not, you don't have a giant team to really work on the PR side of your um, your, your content. This is a really good solution. Not only that, it gives you uh, the best SOPs, standard operating procedures, what you should be doing when you're using, uh, when you're promoting it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, all that kind of good stuff. And so, if you're starting in 2020 to really, you want the your your brand to have more brand awareness, this is a really affordable way to do it. And then you're going to be able to track what message, what blog post, all of those things are. Um, are going on, what are people responding to? And then from there, you're gonna be able to make modifications when you try to uh, scale your PR. You might see what people are looking at, you might look at heat maps or see what they're doing on your website or that, or that product. And if it's going really well, if people are signing up or clicking or doing whatever, you can ask for reviews, then you can have a case study or how people are using it, then you can go to other um, uh, people in the industry, either magazines or other, uh, institutions that are looking for content, you can talk about, Hey, this is what people are looking at. These are the numbers. This is what people are gravitating towards. You write up your own piece and then you pitch that to, uh, another magazine to get even more PR. So that's just a suggestion that, uh, that I would use with, uh, Q promote. Jumble, um, the reason I would use this is if you're really having a mess kind of like this, you're doing so many different things with trying to um, work through the projects with your clients, uh, with, you know, if you're working with a small agency or whatever, this allows you to streamline everything that you're doing. And Jumble is just really getting started. They have a lot of cool things. So when they're going to be building out uh, duplicatable SOPs, things like that, that's going to allow you to streamline your work and see how you can get to the next level. So you can take on more clients at a specific rate and then scale your business uh, once you streamline uh, what, what you're great at. For Synovio, I really think this is great for outreach. If you're looking for more clients, if you're trying to um, work with other, um, other entities, Synovio allows you to, at scale, talk to ones, get the introduction, get them to the point of now you can have a conversation with them and get to the next level. I use, I think Synovio is really good for you to um, map out the type of industry or type of person you want to work with. You you bring them to a call to action of what you want them to do, either get on the phone with you, uh, you know, look at this type of content before they contact you. And that allows you to weed out who's actually, you know, engaging with your content that you can see that all through Synovio. And then you're getting the best prospects to the point where you want, where it would be a call or whatever. And then they just see how great you are. And then you have more increased business. So instead of you spending hours or days prospecting and building out this list and going through it and manually doing all this stuff and automate it automates everything and streamlines where you want to go. So I really think before you use Synovio, it's really important for you to um, detail or write out your goals and where you want to go with this because this is very powerful and you can get lost in the weeds very easily when using Synovio. So I, I suggest writing down how you're going to use it, who you're going to target, then the process of how you're going to get those prospects. Are you going to be using their um, their plugin and starting to look at uh, different avenues to look for um, uh, different CTOs or you know the CMO of the company? Who are you going to go for? All of those things before you really uh, start to put in the automation for Synovio for Senfox. This is pretty much a plug-in, you know, plug-and-play. Everyone needs to start collecting emails. It, it's not sexy, it, every, you know. It's 
it's not trendy like it you know for chat mess you know chat bots and everything like that but the bottom line is email marketing still works but you have to start somewhere and this allows you to be onboarded and to start very quickly in your business and again if you're looking at building if you're looking at trying to break into the industry um, this is a really good place to start and to understand the fundamentals of automations and how everything works you can test it out on yourself you can buy this and then offer it for a client that hasn't you know hasn't started doing crms or do doing anything with email collection and you've already bought the software so you can already say you're investing into them there's so many ways that you can can use SendFox and it's affordable and everyone needs it. Bottom line. Um, and uh, really that, I think you can do this for your own business to streamline uh, the design process. If you're trying to get into, um, if you're trying to get into work where you can offer this as a service, this is a really, really easy streamline uh, way for you to create a lot of pieces of content for your clients without you stressing out and needing to need needing to use Photoshop and all these things. You can have a very nice branded kit for them. And again, you can expand with their business using uh, Relay That. So everyone, that is my review of my top five apps for 2019 from AppSumo. Uh, comment below if you have any questions with any of these products. Also too, let me know what your favorite top five items or apps were from, from AppSumo this year. Uh, this is really meant for you to start building your business the way you want to. And uh, we're here for you. So comment below in this video, ask us in the Facebook group. And uh, also we'll be back with more videos in 2020. Take care.